So I have the latest MacBook Pro with me and we're gonna find out if you can game on a MacBook Pro. Please hang up and try again. Hey, what's up everyone? Louis Tran here. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the bootcamp gaming performance of the MacBook Pro 16 inch. Now, Macs really haven't been known for gaming. If you wanna game, people will tell you uh, build your own PC, buy a razor blade, or even get a uh, PS4, Xbox, or a Nintendo Switch because, you know, Macs suck at gaming. But uh, in this Mac release, however, Apple has improved the specs in almost every single way. Uh, not just the keyboard or not just the uh, built-in speakers, but the GPU as well. Uh, the Mac that we're going to be testing has the 5500 uh, Radeon with 8 gigs of video memory as well as an i9 processor and 32 gigs of system RAM. Um, also, I'm going to test the uh, Mac against my personal gaming laptop, the MSI GS65 Stealth that has the RTX 2060 uh, in it. And also, uh, we're going to connect a eGPU to the Mac uh, with a Radeon RTX 2060 Super and see how that performs as well just as a bonus. Um, all right, so let's get right into the video. Can it run Crisis? Well, before I start, let me preface this by saying that I recorded these benchmarks on my display's native resolution at 3440 by 1440 and obviously those will affect the FPS averages. However, a majority of people usually play at 1080 HD so I redid all my benchmarks again at 1080 and will give you both scores at 2K and HD. The difference in frame rates on games is almost double when you go from 1440 down to 1080 in some situations. In fact, you can skip right over to the benchmark results at the video timeline shown on the screen. Also, I'm not going to make you sit through the entirety of every single benchmark as that will be a painful waste of time. The games that I have played so far are Shadow of Tomb Raider, Neo Automata, Crisis 3, and Overwatch all in high settings and the MacBook Pro can handle these just fine. If you look at how the MacBook Pro 16 compares to a gaming laptop such as the MSI GS65 with an RTX 2060, it just can't compare, but that's to be expected. They're two different devices meant for different things. If you, however, add an eGPU with an RTX 2060 Super, for instance, that will of course level the playing field, but it might not be the most practical solutions for most people. But the potential to run a high-end graphics card is there at a cost. Other than that, if you're a Mac user who pushes hardware because you're a professional, enthusiast, hobbyist, or all of the above, it's nice to know that you can play AAA titles at a decent rate. I do like being able to run multiple virtual machines and operating systems for work and also have my Steam library with me when I travel. The point is, the MacBook Pro is a viable device to game on if you need or want a Mac for whatever reason that may be. With that said, I'm going to leave off with my benchmark results using the Max Radeon 5500 with an eGPU with an NVIDIA RTX 2060 Super connected to it and the MSI GS65. Thanks for watching.